Hey everyone. Today I want to share a personal insight that will hopefully help you uh, step into your power with confidence and uh, pursue your soul and life purpose with confidence. Um, many of you may know what your soul purpose is in this lifetime or even a general idea. You might have a feeling or a, a vague idea. Maybe you just know that it's something big. Maybe you don't even know what direction it is. Or you don't know any certain labels for it. You just can sense it's something big. The ironic thing that we do when we know our soul and life purpose is we tell ourselves, oh my gosh, I'm never going to make it there. We think to ourselves like, look how far I have to go where I am now to get to embodying and living out that purpose, to fulfilling that purpose. And we just think that we're not cut out for it. Or we'll just, we'll simply never make it. How ironic is this? Look at it. You were literally born for this. You were made and created to fulfill this purpose. You were given everything you need. You were designed specifically just for this. It's all already within you. And yet we think that we are lacking something. <laughs> um, we think we'll never get there. We think we have too far to go and we just will never catch up or something. There's nothing to catch up to. You were literally, you as a baby, you were born with everything you need for your life purpose. You were designed for this. It doesn't mean that there's something outside of you that you have to accomplish. Whenever I say you were designed for this, like you were designed to accomplish this, I mean you embody it right now. You are embodying your soul purpose right now. It's all active within you right now. And sure, there's different expressions of your soul purpose. So you are embodying it right now. There may be in the future different ways that comes through you. But you are, you are, you already have it. It's so like for me, um, in my second spiritual awakening of April 2015, I basically like became one with my higher self, as you might know it, or as my soul consciousness, how I understand it. And so for two, most of two days, I was just walking around purely as my soul consciousness, like no, no human filtering, no no 3D bullshit. <laughs> I perceived everything as my soul and I felt everything as my soul. And all this information about um, the universe and the state of the planet and uh, mind control and my past and mind control came through. But in addition, the information about who my soul is and what I'm here to do came through a lot. And, and I felt it. That's how, that's how a knowing of something is true within you. And it will forever be anchored into you once you have felt the knowing. So I have known my soul purpose since then. And I'm completely connected to it. Except I noticed like, I was so often thinking like, oh my God, I will never live up to that. That 
thing that I'm supposed to do. I will never live up to that. And look how far I have to go to get there. I just don't have what it takes. I know this is God's plan for me, but I ain't made for this. And then I realized, wait, I was literally made just for this. <laughs> it's just so nonsensical. <laughs> um, so if you're lacking confidence in yourself, even if you don't know any idea of what your sole purpose could be, it doesn't matter because you were already made for it. <laughs> So just by being born, you are living out your soul purpose. You brought the design in with you. You brought all the energies in with you into this life. It's not something to accomplish or to acquire. It's just there by nature of you being born. How simple is that? So I hope you go easier on yourself when you're thinking about all the things in life you're supposed to accomplish. Just do your life. Just be you. Just live your life. However you fucking want to. You don't even have to worry about finding your soul purpose or your life purpose. Do whatever the fuck you want. And you are living your soul purpose. So thanks for coming to planet Earth. And contributing whatever your individual purpose is.